much for hopping onto my channel. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator which means I get to play with crafts and stamps and I get to share my love of it with you. So do stick around and just put some more lighting on, light up the situation. <laughs> How are we today? Um, just, I'm going to put some more, oh. oh there we go, there we go. We have lights, we have camera and we're going to have some action. So today I borrowed, not today, I've borrowed a stamp set from one of my downline because being a demonstrator it means I can have a little team, which is great. So if you want to go back being on my team you can just message me and find out more. Hi everybody, I'm trying to call myself up on my other device. Beep pop 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 beep pop pop pop. Just like that. <laughs> Whoa, turning the volume up. Right, here we are. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so who's ready to come and play with me? Gonna do some stamping. Gonna do some ice cream. I'm gonna make a card. Now, famous last words. I go, oh, yeah, I'll just be a quick live today. One hour later, I'm still here. <laughs> oh, Vicky, I just moved to the UK. It's a bit cooler here than in Australia. I look very summery. That's because, you know, feeling the sunshine. Can't want anything too hot. Otherwise, it will just get too hot and stuffy. You know what it's like. Okay. Um, doesn't want to sit there, do you? Sit down. Behave. Got to talk to your phone so it will listen. Okay, let's do the register. Hello, Levine and Claire, Ellie and Beth, Glenda and Vicky, Sheila and Shirley, Melanie and Wendy, Ruth and Monica. There we go, that was quite a good register, wasn't it? So sweet ice cream. So I played with this set earlier. I had my son with me making on Facebook today, which was fun, and I can't find the bits that we made. Uh, I think it's under here. So he made a card, and he likes using the blending brushes, and he used the ice creams, and put some shimmery wing Costello, so it looked like um, ice cream is good enough to eat. So he made that, and everyone voted to have it on the yellow card. I started doing different flavours and then I dropped my stamp, tried to fix it and then decided I was just going to show you what else you can do with the stamp set. So that's our blueberry flavour. I tried to do a pizza. Got jellyfish, octopus, trees, raindrops, teddy bear, flowers. Um, let me just fix my quality on here. So if you need to fix the quality, go to settings, advanced, and then you can change the numbers on there just looks really blurry and off-putting. Ah, oh, it's a cold morning waiting for the aircon to kick in. Cold morning waiting for the aircon to kick in. And then I knocked out a quick, I've not stuck this down yet, quick geometric men's card. And that was just using the ice cream comb. So I wanted to show you that there's lots that you can do with that stem set. Hi there, Janice. Okay, so cracking on with today. We are going to use, what are we going to use, Esther? Who knows? Um, <laughs> we're going to use some basic white, which is our nice smooth card for stamping on. And um, these colours here, which I'll, or I'll try and remember to go through at the end again. Blushing Bride Calypso Coral Granny Apple Green Daffodil Delight, which is you know, sticking out like a sore thumb. It's just the old style ink pad and Poppy Parade. So we're going to get inking with this on here. Now these two kind of sit together to create one ice cream. So I'm going to show you three different varieties of ice lollies. Do, you, do we all call them ice lollies around the world? Are they called ice lollies everywhere? Or do you have, I mean, not the brand of them, but. So I'm going to start off, I've got my blending brushes to hand because um, it helps to just break up the colour when you come to ink. Now you can do one of a few things for me while I 
do this. I'm just going to tap that top half because that's where it gets blended, okay? And I'm going to just come to the bottom here because I'm going to cut them out. There is a punch that actually matches this set, but I don't have it. I've borrowed the stamps, but my friend didn't have the punch to go with it. Now I have got another colour in here, which is coming out on there a little bit, but that's okay. We're just going to ignore it a bit. Then, because I want the continuation of colour, I'm going to stamp a little bit in yellow, because this is the lighter colour, and then coming in with Calypso Coral. Now, if I went to stamp this, I might get a straight line, so I'm just going to bring in my blending brush and tap this. So if you've watched me before you would have seen me do this technique. Now the way that I line this up best is probably about a centimetre or about an eighth and a bit of an inch off the bottom side now. I'm trying to let me stand up because the, I've got my camera in the way and then we're going to just place that on top of the other image. Okay. Oh, so you get this pretty. Okay. So we've got Calypso Coral going into Daffodil Delight. So that's one colour combination. Just going to get a relatively wet chamois. So this is just um, a chamois, which was purple. Over time it gets stained, but it doesn't stain anything else. It lifts off that ink from your stamp. So these are... These are stamps. Um, Stampin' Up still do rubber stamps as well, your old-fashioned rubber stamps that you might be used to seeing. But this is a great way of just being able to peel these off and you can see through these particular ones. Okay, next we're going to go for a... Um, in the UK, there's a, a lolly called a Fab, Fab Lolly. So for this one, I'm going to use a Blushing Bride. Now, I showed this technique earlier, but I'm just going to use my acrylic block to push back some of this ink because I've got a rather juicy ink pad. I'm just going to wipe it off. What this does, it just pushes the colour out of the way for me to come in with my stamp. So um, I'm going to do the middle half. You can still see it's very juicy. Very juicy. And then I'm going to use the bottom half with the Poppy Parade. And again, just to blend out that colour a little bit. Just going to do a little bit of dabbing. You know, like when you get a nice lolly, like the colour bleeds a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, and then we're going to go with that. So on the top of a fab lolly, you get like red at the bottom, then pink, then it's chocolate at the top with sprinkles. Now, um, I don't think I'm actually going to do sprinkles with this one because I've got a prototype card. Actually, you could do sprinkles. Let's do sprinkles. I've decided <laughs> we are going to do sprinkles. So we're going to do this colour. So we're going to go in again with our pink. Now you can push the colour back, so don't worry about that space there that I've left on my ink. That colour will push back. Oh, I'm missing a colour I need. Now I used uh, Soft Sway for this because I wanted it to be a chocolate brown, but I didn't want it to be so dark that you couldn't do anything else. With them. Yes, hundreds and thousands. So what I might do is get my early espresso. So the hundreds and thousands are different colours, but I'm just going to adapt it. So I'm going to huff on where I've just done my ink because I still want that to show up. I'm getting fluff from somewhere. And then again, just going to dab that so it's not so strong, not such a strong line. Okay, and then once again. Hi, everybody coming in. Hi, Bev. Let me know if it's your first time. You'll get a lovely warm welcome from everybody here. There. Oh, this is so tasty. So tasty. Okay. So that's two variants for you. Just by using a brush to, to just um, blend those colours just helps it to break up a little bit. And you don't have those kind of really harsh lines on there. All right, I'm going to give my 
stamps a really good clean because this time we're going to go for another con colour combination. So have you heard of the traffic light lolly? The traffic light lolly. So we go daffodil delight. So start with your lighter colour first. You start with your lighter colour so that you don't contaminate the other colours too much. You don't want them to be cross contaminated. It's alright to do it a little bit. Like if I've got a bit of yellow in here, it won't really matter too much. It won't show up too greatly. <coughs> I'm going to choose a random blending brush. Tap that. Has anyone seen the traffic light lolly? You might have had one in your time. When's the last time you had a nice lolly? There's a question. So if you're wondering who I'm chatting to, I have got people watching me live as I'm stamping. It's quarter past nine in the UK. It's Tuesday, the 1st of June. The other multicoloured one was Zoom, says Ellie. So there, there is a, um, a rocket lolly, they're called, which um, was multicoloured, wasn't it? In, a, in sort of like traffic light colours. But it um, was in the shape of a rocket. Hence the name Zoom. So I'm just giving it a chance to... Let the ink kiss the paper. <laughs> Exciting. You'll have to choose your favourite later. Okay. So these lollies are going to go on sticks. So um, there is a stick stamp in the set. <laughs> Lots of s there. Oh, there's... Ah, maybe that was the lolly stick I was looking for earlier. You've got this one here. Um, I thought we thought that was the flake to go with that, but I reckon that's the lolly stick, isn't it? There you go. We have rocket lollies for kids. I'm not keen on lollies, but I had an ice cream sundae yesterday, says Wendy. Yeah, I must admit, I think I prefer prefer an ice cream to a ice lolly. But I did. I tell you what, I did have today. I didn't think my son was going to get me one, but he got. He said, oh, can I have one of those ice cream things? I know exactly what he's talking about. We've got some ice poles. And um, he actually bought one in for me. I was like, oh, thanks. And he chose very well because he got me the red one, which is one of the better flavours out of the ice. Ice poles. Do you get ice poles? You know, those juice that you just freeze and it's quite refreshing on a hot day like today. So I'm just going to fussy cut these. Like I said, I don't have the... If I had the matching punch, which is like a shape cutter, I could probably just... Actually, it doesn't have this shape in the in the punch, does it? If somebody can let me know, that'd be great. Cindy said, Hi everyone, just finished watching the UK blog, blog hop. Now, Cindy's referring to the video hop, which is on YouTube. So if you're not already subscribing to my channel, you can subscribe and check out my video that got uploaded today, which is part of the UK uh, Stamp Around UK video hop that we do on YouTube once a month. So we pick a theme and we have got demonstrators. If you like listening to the English accent, you can happily and like craft. <laughs> you go go hopping around to find out what everyone else has done for this month's topic of um, it's sort of new, whatever is new in the catalogue so if you want to get your hands on one of these said catalogues i'm happy to post one out if you're in the uk france germany austria or the netherlands um i am i have only got the english version catalogues so if that's any good for you i'm happy to send one out okay now the next thing i'm going to do is adhere these oh so, beg your pardon i will rephrase that if you like any of the united kingdom accents <laughs> Thank you, Janice, for calling me out on that one, including Scotland, Ireland and Wales. Um, then, yes, do, do tune in. We've got the, the, Janice has got a beautiful Scottish accent and we've got another Scottish demo, haven't we? Um, right, these are little mini lolly sticks. I hear you all now going, yes, but where do you get said lolly sticks? I like, I like saying that. Where do you get said lolly sticks? Well, 
I bought a pack of these from um, a big store in the UK um, years ago. And it had about, I don't know, 200 of these lolly sticks. And I sat on them for ages, not literally. Um, <laughs> and I didn't use them. And I had grand ideas. And yeah, didn't use them. So I got rid of a load, but thought, oh, it would be quite sweet if I could just hold, hold on to a few. Perfect little tin here that I acquired. Um, my husband used these little licorice pellets. And look, it's a perfect little size to, to house my mini lolly sticks. So if you want to get them, ouch, says Ellie, for sitting on the lolly sticks. Um, I, have, I did do my research and did a quick look on Amazon. Sure enough, good old Amazon sells them. I reckon you could probably get them on eBay as well. So just look at mini lolly sticks. Oh, now come on, glue. And you'll be able to find it. So I'm going to stick these on. I went a little bit too far with the glue then. There we go. So these are going to help kind of give them a backbone, literally. And I'm just using Tombow glue. This is multi-purpose liquid glue. It's great for even wood. It sticks to wood. So just press that down. I could do a here's one I made earlier as well. But I think I quite like that these ones have come out quite well. Um Ellie says you could buy these in craft shops too. Now, I don't know what you use them for, whether you just use them for lolly stick modelling, you know, like um, people make make things out of matchsticks, don't they? Like matchstick models and things. They are super cute and they're just ideal for these little lollies, aren't they? So um, I'm glad that I kept a few to play with. Okay. Navarana says, I'm sitting here thinking that you could probably use the stamp set to make some nice mountains and hilly landscapes. I like your thinking. I might have to give that a go. Could use if you needed a really small fence. Yes, like a little picket fence. Or, I mean, it might be a bit too massive, but if you actually have a nice lolly with some, here's the ones I made earlier. If you have a nice lolly um, and you've got a stick left over, you might be able to use a bit of the stick. So there you go, lots of uses. Okay, we're going to um, step these up a bit. Um, I'm going to do some uh, embossing for a doll's house. Yes, imagine that in a doll's house, it'd be like a giant lolly in a doll's house. I know that's not what you meant. Okay, let's grab ourselves a bit of card. I don't know what size this is, as long as it mat and layers. Okay, so this is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths of an inch, because that's what I tend to do for my fairy garden i love your ideas coming everybody you can get them free in star but of course drink stirrers from your local coffee shop don't go stealing them make sure you buy a drink first i'm not advocating stealing whatsoever uh what am i looking for now okay i'm just going to bring on the lady excuse me everybody here she comes make way make way uh what do i need in you come, old girl. This is the cut and emboss machine. So the layers we need is, we're going to use this folder here. Welcome, Heidi. Can't remember the name. Borrowed this as well. I bet you all think I don't actually own anything. I just borrow everything from my downline. It's rather good having crafty friends locally because you get to beg, borrow and steal. Uh, I do give it back. What's nice is that you can borrow it, decide whether you want to have own it yourself or not and you kind of end up sort of thinking oh yeah I like that so much and I've used it so much I might as well just order one myself and you could do swapsies I do like this embossing folder and since I've still got it in my uh, uh, in my what's the word what's the word possession I thought I might as well use it and what does it remind you of Apart from paint texture, Melanie, <laughs> it does. It, it does give that paint texture look, and that is the idea of it. Is that what it's called? Painted... Oh, sorry, that's the name of it. Is that the name? Painted Textures? Something like that. But can anyone tell me what it reminds them of before I, uh, before I tell you? 
thinking, I'll give you a big clue. Um, you know, think about what we're making with our card today. So I'm going to go in with Blushing Bride. Icing, Joanna's close. I think I'm going to go in Blushing Bride. I might change it up. I might do Daffodil. Let's have a look. We've got yellow in that. Am I going to change it up? Yes or no? Let me have a think. Mm, have I got any yellow? Yes, I could use that. Shall we change it up for a bit of yellow? Ice cream. There you go. Janice is one. It looks a bit like ice cream. I'm just I'm I've made a cut I've made a, another version so I think I'm going to swap it out and we're going to do yellow instead. So um, I'll show you the other version I did in a minute. Yes, I thought it reminded me of ice cream, especially when you colour it. Look, oh, too much yellow there. I haven't banana rather than vanilla ice cream. <laughs> that was a rather lot of yellow went on there. I think when you add colour on it, it kind of brings it to life and it looks like ice cream. You know when it's slightly melted and you um, kind of smush it around your bowl? There. I'm just going to add more to the corners because I've got, I laid down a lot in that corner. It looks odd if I didn't do the other corners, so... Got a nice bit of sunshine yellow ice cream. And I'm going to do a little bow. I'm, I'm keeping you in suspense because this is all going to come together last minute. And I'm going to do a small bow. Now, if you can't do small bows, do a big bow and then shrink it down. Just got to pull the tails until it's the desired length. Let's pull the tails. Keep tightening your bow, like so. I said smush around the bowl at the same time. I'm glad that you understood what I meant, Wendy, when I said smush around the bowl. Chocolate or rum and raisin is the best ice cream. I don't know, I'm pretty partial to a uh, pistachio. You could do a striped effect and get Neapolitan. Yeah, that would be a fun idea. Choc mint chip is, we um, did ice cream with sales at school to raise money for the PTA and um, that was the favourite flavour for the, the children was the choc, mint choc chip. Uh, did you say Napoleon rather than Neapolitan? Oh no, you did say it. <laughs> you said it right, okay. What do I want to do next? So next... Like I said, I'm going to keep you in suspense a little bit. I'm going to stamp somewhere. You're so cool. I think that's such a fun saying for like a child's card. You're so cool. And it kind of, you know, goes with the ice cream. Um, momentarily lost my embossing stuff. Wonder if you can make a baked Alaska. Yum. Is that where you have cake with ice cream in the middle? Honeycomb ice cream. Or well, unless you get onto haagen -Dazs and Ben and & Jerry's, that's like a whole new level. Sorry, but haagen -Dazs any day. haagen -Dazs. Macad not macadamia, not brittle, because they don't sell it anymore, do they? What's, what's the one that they sell? haagen -Dazs. The one with the, like, caramel around the nuts. Butter brittle is my favourite, but they don't make it anymore. I know, why do they do that? Take away, like, the best ever flavours. Um, I can't remember what birthday it was. Maybe Ruth can remember. But one of her friends came round, probably to see Ruth, and um, I confessed that I hadn't, had I hadn't tasted haagen yet. And they were so shocked. I think they bought me some, didn't they, Ruth? Are you there? Um, Ruth's friend bought me haagen -Dazs for my birthday. Hands down, a good all-natural vanilla, actually. I must admit, vanilla with the, um, like, vanilla pods and bits of the pod in it is really nice. 
Yes, it was Peter. But um, which Peter was it? Because he, he gave me a birthday card as well. And I'm sure it said Nutty Peter or something like that inside. I was quite touched by that. Peter Mendy, there you go. Ruth knows. Ruth knows exactly who I'm talking about. It's a good job she's here, isn't it? Right, volumes down, please, ladies and gentlemen. Volumes down. We're now going to heat our sentiment. <laughs> what do you get down from? Yes, I remember that very well. A bit of a party game, that one, where you get somebody to stand on a chair. Shall we explain it, shall we? So it's a party game. You get somebody to stand on a chair and you just simply ask them the question, what do you get down from? And they could be up there a rather long time trying to guess what the answer is because... Unless you know, you don't know. I wouldn't have known at all because I didn't know at the time. Okay, so this is going to go there. Let's bring on the bring on the lollies. Here we go. Here they are. Bring on the friends. This one's going to have a little bow. Now, are you ready for the whatever that French saying is, which I could ever say? Pièce de résistance or something. <laughs> If I say it fast enough, nobody will notice that I can't say it. Are you ready? Here come the googlies. Somebody was saying on the Facebook Live earlier about googly eyes. On, and I thought, yeah. And I dug, I dug out the lolly sticks and I found my googly eyes. So this is going to be the making, trust me. Now, sensible Esther for once. You don't always hear those two words together. I've lost my pokey tool. Where are you, love? There you are. Uh, sensible Esther, when purchasing said googly eyes, was very sensible because I got the ones with adhesive backings. So you just... Am I in shot? A bit too close to my fingernails there, aren't you? <laughs> there you go, look, you just peel off. It's got an adhesive backing. So I can go ahead and stick on my googlies. Use my pokey tool, peel that away. Now there was a programme years ago, I don't know if it's still on telly, called the Ooglies, and it was a kid's animation, like stop motion animation, where they used to put eyes on like inanimate objects and do like little kind of animations with these, like in a kitchen or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, Different things, just having googly eyes stuck to it. It's, it's, quite, it's very clever. Um, brings, per, brings out a bit of personality, doesn't it? I was looking for my googly eyes to see what it looked like on the turtle, says Cindy. Thank you, Glenna. Glenna thinks this is cute. So does Heidi. Oh, you didn't find them. Now, the great thing about googly eyes is you can buy them in all sorts of sizes. And you can even get ones which are like massive googly eyes, which <clears throat> whenever I see them, I'm tempted to buy them, but I never know quite what I'd use them for. But I just think for comic value, I love the idea of a, a giant googly eye. <laughs> or two. Uh, and these are available from your local craft stores or online. I like I like it when if googly eyes like you can really do a lot with googly eyes. Um, hi Paula. I thought Ellie when I read that I thought it read you found your googly eye the other day. <laughs> you found you found your googly eyes. I like it when they're like slightly offset and there's one large eye to the with than the other one. I think that gives them real character. And then also you can have them close together or like wide apart. And it can really, like, change the, the whole look of the little character, which can be fun if you've got a silly, immature, fun mind. <laughs> Ellie, said, <laughs> Ellie said, I just looked in the mirror and there they were. Oh, too funny. 
Right. So I'm going to get go for straight eyes today. It's, it gets a bit tricky when you're trying to look at eyes going in different directions. Okay, and then we're going to add our little bow. I think because these two have got three stripes, we'll put them on the side. I used to use so many of these googly eyes at nursery with the kids. Yes, Shirley. My boss at the nursery where I used to work, she used to have a thing about pictures having eyes. She needed it to have eyes. And I'm putting two glue dots on this to make it nice and secure. And look at this, it's so cute. Um, yeah, so every time the kids did pictures of like a, a character or a person, they had to have like googly eyes stuck on it. I'm just going to zoom you out a touch better there we go so let's line these characters now the other thing you could do is kind of make them go for a little dance and have them kind of going in different directions which can be quite fun you could have them kind of like this or you could have them straight up straight down so what are we going to go for tonight do we want slanted or straight let me know and I'm just going to stick the sentiment down. The bow's cute, isn't it? I'll show you the other version. I've done a pink version. Um, and the other thing I did do is put some spottage. We like a bit of dots, so we'll add some of that. Yeah, uh, Barbie li likes it slanted. We could go for slanted for a different look. So in the set as well, we have got some... Looks like they're dancing. Now, where's my dots gone? Here they are. See, because everything is stuck to a block, I don't lose it easily. Just, I know it's here somewhere. So, Glenna, this is for you. <laughs> and just as I say that, she's like, eep, dots. Just adds a little bit of sprinklage to the party. Not overkill, but just a little bit of texture around the edge as if they've, you know, add something, something, doesn't it? So did we want to go for this? I think we like the dancing popsicles. That would make a really cool name for a band, wouldn't it? The dancing popsicles. I can't remember how I had them now. <laughs> look at this guy looking at them. He's like, oh, look at those two. <laughs> Sorry, this is where I start making up stories about dancing popsicles. Let's bring you in on the picture. So I'm going to lift this middle one up. Oh, yes, dotage makes it, says Ellie. So we don't need to glue anything else but the sticks. Because that's the only thing that we need to... Um, have sticking down. So if you've really enjoyed tonight and loved the video, then a thumbs up goes a long way for me. It shows a sign of appreciation. And do comment afterwards. Let me know maybe which one's your favourite flavour ice cream. And um, any kind of reaction helps with the old algorithms, so I'll be very grateful. Don't feel that you have to. But if you'd like to, that's a free way of being able to support my channel. Okay. I feel like they need like little drips coming off them now as well. <laughs> okay, we'll stick this down on some white card and then I'll show you the here's one I made earlier. Uh, Ellie says, your kids at school would love these. Yeah. Oh no, a popsicle love triangle, right? He's going, R -r -r. this happened with the gnomes. I seem to have the same trouble with my my crafting characters. Oh, they're so fun, aren't they, googly eyes? Okay, let's get this. Now, I'm wondering, just looking at it, whether I need a little bit of a black border. Let's have a look. I happen to have... Some black card next to me. Oh, 
wonder if it needs a smidgen. Hmm, don't know. I had this problem earlier because I just think black then tends to overtake it and for a child's card I don't think you need it. Could you make hats from the upside down cones? <gasps> Love it! You could have party hats. <gasps> I might have to try that now that you've said it. What about a red or orange or a dark green for the background? Yeah, maybe. I quite like it on the white. Let's try doing a little party hat, shall we? Um, must have a scrap of paper around here somewhere. Okay, we'll give that a go in a sec. Let's try. I want to try party hat now. Oh, that is so cute, isn't it? Proper party going on in the house. Party. This hat looks a bit too big for him. I'm just going to lob it off. <laughs> what do we reckon to his party hat? <laughs> what about uh, I don't know, a small scallop punch on a corner would make it look like somebody's taken a bite yes that's right a small facial expression open mouth yeah I, I want to leave the mouths because the mouths tend to then overtake with the expression so I'm just going to leave it with the eyes like the hat at an angle yeah it just gives it a bit of character doesn't it There we go. Right, you guys wanted to see what it looked like with a bit of coloured card behind. Let's have a look. Trouble is, I've got through my coloured card. Hmm, maybe a bit of Calypso. Okay, let's do the hut. What am I doing? The ice cream scoop would make a skirt. Oh, everyone is on a roll now, aren't they? Let's have a look. I could make a little skirt. What colour should her skirt be? Should we do green? What's my green? Or oh, pink, pink. Just a little blushing bride skirt. Let's see what that looks like. You guys are getting into this now, I can tell. <laughs> well, I'm trying to use the colours that I've used already and not introduce another colour, so let's see if we can do this. So when you're cutting out a card, you, you don't want to be cut, cutting with a big bulk. You want to cut down the bulk first and then start fussy cutting around a bit more. This can also be a um, Minnie Mouse hat. Could have it that way, look. <laughs> Real team effort, right? Just put a bit of a curve on it. What do we reckon? I think it... <laughs> Maybe not in pink. I think I need another colour. It just suddenly looked really dodgy then, didn't it? 
I did start thinking about that when I cut it out. I was thinking, yeah, maybe not pink. Let's just change the colour there quick because that's orange might look a bit less. Mm, let's go my original idea with green. It just looked a little bit funny. Let's. I just I wonder if blue just would. Should look too much like the other one. Okay, let's try. You guys want me to try blue, so I will try blue. Let's try a pool party. could stamp over the other one sometimes it doesn't always kind of come out right tiny bit of lace with the skirt I have got some of that polka dot ribbon left I think that's what it, need. it just needs maybe like some edging along the skirt doesn't it to make it look more like a skirt Oh, cute. Let's see what I've got. Aha. Uh -huh. I've got this like, cute black and white twine here. I'm trying to think of something to use for a tie. Well, you could have maybe something like that. Waistband of some description. Okay, let's do another one of our small bows. Dottage on the skirt, good idea, loving it. Or we could do sprinkles. See, I told you, didn't I? What starts off as a... <laughs> okay, let's find the other one. We could do black, where's the... Looking for sprinkles. Where did I put them? Uh oh. So have a look. I put them back, you see? Going a bit too lally. I'm thinking black. Yes, black. Hey, Nessa, we're on the same wavelength. Black sprinkles. Um, okay, where's my black ink? Time to tidy up when you can't find anything. Where's that gone? Hmm. There you are. Hiding. Poor Pippa and Pete Popsicle. <laughs> oh dear, Cindy. That's hilarious. Right, let's see if I can get this. I think somebody's going to have to win this card. All this team effort we've put in, I might have to put it up for a... The winds, I think. Could use that stump to give the third guy hair. Oh, yeah. I was going to do sprinkles, wasn't I? The popsicle trio. So I'm going to use my Tombow. Because he's got this fine tip end. Okay, that's come out too fast. Going to just glue that on along the top. 
Give that a moment. Could make it, I wonder if it's too late to, okay, my fingers are stuck to that now. Oh. Right, I need something heavy on that for a minute. I wonder if I could, that would wrap around. So you could make a loose kind of neckerchief. Maybe not with that, but with something else, with a bit of ribbon. Or we could use, that would look like a tongue, wouldn't it? Like his tongue sticking out. Should we try it? I'm here for trying, it's all about Trial and error. <laughs> a bandana. Yep. Let's try this for a tongue or a stomach, a tongue or a tie, or a tongue tie. Needle tongue. Small ribbon scrap tied in half would make a bow tie. Could be in a band called the Poppin Popsicles. You guys are really getting into this. I love it. So funny. I love whenever I make characters on here. You guys are there. You guys are like, oh look, how cute. I think this guy here needs a bow tie. Let's see what's happening to this skirt. It's a little bit sticky. <laughs> Right, that's, that's going on. Um, oh, my glue is wanting to play up. There we go. Musical notes from one with the mouth. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's find a suitable. So I've got this red, or I've got. Let's try it with this, like a. These remind you of characters as Blue's Clues. Is that the one with the blue dog? Blue's Clues. <laughs> there we go. God, these characters are really coming to life. So we're going to roll up our glue dot, make it nice and thin, stick that on the back. It's a blast from the past, blues twos. Well, we could put it down there. Hmm, where should it go? I think it looks better a bit further up. He looks like he's missing a mouth now, doesn't he? They all look like they're missing a mouth now. Right, let's pop her skirt. Messing up his bow tie now. Okay. To think these just started off as little ice creams and now look like where it's taken us. <laughs> the art of creativity. Skirt just to cover the stick. Too late, I've put the glue on now, I'm afraid. You didn't type just quick enough. <laughs> I think this, uh, this guy would look quite cute with hair, wouldn't he? 
maybe a few kind of what do we think should we give him hair an afro <laughs> oh i wonder if we could do an afro with this one that'd look quite funny Which one? So what should we do? Should we do sprinkles or attempt an afro? Frizz the twine. For hair, sprinkles. Sprinkles, right. Sprinkles it is. I've already stuck this down, so this could be quite dangerous. I'm a bit of a daring stamper. Oh, gone slightly off the page there. <laughs> okay, how am I going to fix that boo boo? I know. We've got the tiny drop here. That could be something if we needed it to be. Use black marker pen. But how are we going to disguise it? He needs a little more hair. <laughs> With a, another hat. Another party hat. It's really tricky because I've already stuck it down. Okay, he definitely needs a hat now. Okay, should we give him an orange hat? Mask it off. Mask what off? I think that has to be a bit bigger than that. No, nope, that should be okay. Stump sprinkles and cut around them. <laughs> right, let's go with this teeny hat. Oh, I'm using the wrong scissors. I like to have a pair just for ribbon. I mean, ideally his hat would go in the opposite direction, but we don't have that choice. So, the saying of the year, it is what it is. The hat will balance it too. Put paper under the lollies before stamping. Yeah, a bit late for that. I'm just kind of kind of going for it now. <laughs> Let's put those scissors away so I don't keep using those. That I wouldn't be a daring stamper if I uh, played too safely, would I? It's about making the mistakes and then finding a way to cover them up. I would have masked the top around his head off and only done dotage on the top of the popsicle. There you go. Well, this is all hindsight, everybody. You can have a little go with yourself. <laughs> I think, oh, do you know what? I've just had an idea. Oh, look, a smudge. Look at that. Classic Esther smudge there. I've had another brilliant idea. <clears throat> this might work. <laughs> Are you ready? What about a little? Yes, yes, yes. 
Look at the little mouth with the heart. And he could have... Should we give him a white one? She definitely needs a little red sweetheart mouth. Look at that. Should we give him a white a white heart mouth? Let's have a look. Oh, stuck to my that could be his nose. What do we think? I'm not gonna stick it fully. And then he might need a mouth, or he could just be like, you know. Red for her, like lipstick, yep, I like hers. We just need to figure his out. I feel like he needs a moustache. He's that kind of person. I could draw one on, but that's a little bit dangerous. Yes, I'm going to give him a moustache. <laughs> Heidi's like, step away from the card. Or we could do an ooh. I think he needs a moustache. Uh, Ellie said, just had a thought, that ribbon with the white dots would look great for a skirt if you put on layers. Oh, yes. Right. I'm going to give him a little... Oh, he, oh, he, oh. Oh dear. And my soft will look great too. Good job you said that, Heidi, because, um, yeah, just done it. Okay, let's get the. I do have a bit of that. Bit of polka dot ribbon on her skirt. Since, come on, since we're going for it, let's just go for it. I'm just going to round it off a little bit. I wonder if I can glue the polka dots. <laughs> Cindy's liking it. Let's try, this might not work, but we're here to try all sorts today. He looks French, yes. Ho he ho he ho. I have come to party with you, my lady. Because um, that's a terrible French accent we've just pulled off. But that's a very kind of comic French accent. So I'm going to put glue on the actual polka dots in the hope that when I come to stick this down, or everybody hold your breath because it's like an operation. I think it worked. A little net netting to her skirt. I think she needs a bit of Winker Stella now, doesn't she? This is why I squirt Winker Stella and absolutely ruin the card. <laughs> it has really involved, hasn't it, Shell? She's going to have a little bit of. You know, she'll have a little blush. A little bit of wink blush, a little bit of eyeshadow. <laughs> right, any more for any more? See, we are, I told you, what did I say at the beginning of this? He needs some garlic on his neck. I told you, didn't I? Come on for 10 minutes, stay on for an hour. Right, let's, I'm going to start wrapping it up and getting some Calypso coral. I'm loving your input. Thanks, everybody. This card would have not got this far without you guys. So let's see if I've got any. No. I'm afraid I can't do garlic. Do we think a bit of calypso? Coral and then just a little thin bit because that's all I can fit on, I think. Let me just clear the decks a little bit. Such fun, darling, such fun. <laughs> oh dear. You guys have got a great sense of humour. I think we have to now, now that we've thrown everything at it. Right, I'm just going to cut this in half. And then half again, and then I'll 
Cheryl says, now I want to make one of these. How about a pale green, says somebody. Let's have a look. Let's see if I've got a softer thing going. I think it dulls it too much. We need the bright colours to shine through. Or oh, the new green, says Nessa. I'm going to stick with this one. Hi Astrid, welcome. Nice to see you. Right, let's figure this out. You've come at a good time. So this is mm, five and a half by three and three quarters. That's an unusual size for me. So five and a half. Let's do an eighth bigger and see how I get on. By three and three quarters, so three and seven eighths. I wonder if I've measured that right. Whether I've just done it exactly. No, I've cut it too short. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. I prefer it's so much easier just to eyeball these things. Right. Five and a half is there. So I want five and five eighths. That's better. Oh, that's good. I did cut it all right. I, I think it's three and seven eighths. I need it. Oh, good. That worked out well. Double check. That looks right. Okay, now just going to chomp away at the middle. I think we've got enough layers going on already. We don't need all this. Just did an enormous yawn. You've worn me out. Well, Ellie, I'll be sleeping well tonight after this, I tell you. <laughs> I'll be dreaming of dancing popsicles in my head. Where else do you dream, Esther? I don't know. <laughs> so look, there's a big chunk that could be used for another project. So I'll put that in my stash. Uh, what does Shirley say? I always eyeball everything. Do you know what? I much prefer eyeballing. Much prefer it. You live on the edge that way, you see. <laughs> oh dear. But sometimes it's kind of necessary. Yeah, the good old nail dent. Just put your nail in it and dent me. If you have any nails to speak of. My nails grow in the holidays and then as soon as I'm back to work. <laughs> Oh, Wendy. Wendy says, I need this set now. <laughs> there we go. Honestly, stick googly eyes on anything and you've got a very lovable character. Okay, and for the finale, Cindy says, I haven't considered this set before. Something makes me think that Cindy's changing her mind. <laughs> right, this is going to look so toned out, toned up compared to my my previous one I made tonight. But, um, I definitely think this should go to somebody because it's such a group effort. Oh, I must remember I've got glue on that paper. So cute, isn't it, Monica? Right, let me just go and grab. These look bald-headed. <laughs> look, that's my original one. <laughs> that's my original, and look at that. Ta-da! Look how different they are. This was like the old time of the old crew. That design would make a perfect, a fantastic party invitation. Imagine making all those though. Cindy. Got a good my little shake. <laughs> Such fun. There, it's amazing how you can step it up. And it was all thanks to you guys and your suggestions. 
so that was great thank you so much just making sure they're stuck on a young version and mature version this is one that you're happy to give away to a child you know that if the eyes come off it doesn't matter well it doesn't matter if the eyes come off but um you know this one you want to give to an adult <laughs> in fact i might have to recreate this for my or do it on there because i've got a friend who would love love that sort of card so i might just do that Okay, Esther, you and the ladies have outdone themselves. Oh, would love doing a swap like this, says Heidi. No one will have one like it, says Cheryl. <laughs> oh dear, brilliant. Thank you, everybody. That was a lot of fun tonight. I'm so glad that you could join me. And that's the, that's the wonderful thing about doing a live. I'm just going to turn around and talk to you. You know, you get into knock off inspiration from each other and it's so nice to have a group input um i think an adult would like it too says cheryl <laughs> amazing thank you everybody so great to see you um i'm on um half term this week half term holiday so i'm around until thursday so i might i, I don't like making promises but to say i might pop on impromptuly if i get a chance so um Ah, uh, I think my 30 year old son, 31 year old son would love this. Ah, uh, great. I mean, any, well, anything with googly eyes, I think, you know, you can make it fun, can't you? So there you go. Cool. I won't um, take up any more of your time. I better let you all go and go and rest your creative brains because you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for those thummy uppies. And um, don't forget, you can comment afterwards. I'd love to hear comments afterwards. Do I have a WhatsApp, WhatsApp alert? Not at the moment, Heidi, but if it's something enough people are interested in, um, I can set one up because I um, send out my alerts on my Facebook pages. So if you're following me on Facebook, I'm Stampin' Star Creations. Same name is here. Hi, Astrid. Um, where, do you, where are you coming in from, Astrid? Welcome. It was lovely to have your company. I don't know if this was your first time. Um, but yeah, if there's enough people interested and not getting alerts, then I can happily set up a whatsapp notification group if people would like to so what would happen is i get people's numbers and i will send out alert to say that i'm going live but not everybody will have your number there's something called broadcasting so cindy said i've smiled the whole video brian just had a uh, what did he brian have a birthday brian just had a no sorry can't translate that Oh, the second time you're here from the Netherlands. Oh, warm welcome. Everybody, please give Astrid a very warm welcome if you haven't already, because I know that I've... Night, everyone. Night, Ellie. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad you all had a good time. Take care, everyone. Nice to see you. Thank you for welcoming Astrid. It's always nice to include people in the community. Do come back again. Please do subscribe to my, my channel. If you hit the bell and actually click on the bell, it'll give you a notification. If you press the all, then any live videos, any uploaded videos um, will, will show that I'm coming or I've loaded something. OK, thank you, everybody. You're so kind to welcome new people. I love it. Take care. Night night. Dream of lollies. And googly eyes. Oh, it's the wrong one. Let's get the dancers out to finish up our show. 